literature review should start with developing a mind map. This mind map helps you to visualize and draw on creativity to be able to map out your literature review before starting to write. The mind map will assist you in creating major categories as first branches, then create sub-categories, which can then be expanded even more. These are the steps of creating a mind map. Choose an industry of interest, the select a specific industry that you are interested in and would like to conduct a literature review on. Identify key concepts, brainstorm and identify the main concepts related to the selected industry. These concepts can be written down as keywords or short phrases. Create categories, group related concepts together and create categories that can be used as headings in the mind map. Research, conduct thorough research on the selected industry, looking for articles, academic journals, reports, and any other relevant sources. Summarize the information you gather and add it to the relevant categories in the mind map. Analyze and evaluate sources, critically analyze the sources you have found and evaluate the relevance and reliability of each source. Connect the dots, connect the information in the mind map, identifying similarities and differences, and noting any gaps or areas for further research. Lastly, refine and update, continually refine and update the mind map as you gather more information and insights. Here is an example scenario of a literature review with a topic called, The Effectiveness of Social Marketing in Promoting Behavior Change. Always remember to reference your work. You would first start with the introduction, including some of the following. Social marketing refers to the use of marketing principles to influence individuals and communities to adopt behavior that benefits their well-being and the well-being of society as a whole. This concept has been applied in various domains, including public health, environmental sustainability, and road safety. Despite its wide usage, the effectiveness of social marketing in promoting behavior change remains a topic of ongoing debate and research. Then your first heading or category would be looking at studies on social marketing effectiveness. Write literature along the lines of. There have been a number of studies that have explored the effectiveness of social marketing in promoting behavior change. A systematic review of 33 studies conducted between 1980 and 2012 found that social marketing interventions were effective in promoting behavior change in a variety of domains, including health behavior, environmental sustainability, and road safety. The authors concluded that social marketing can be a valuable tool for promoting behavior change and improving public health outcomes. In a more recent study, researchers explored the effectiveness of social marketing in promoting healthy eating behaviors among school-age children. The study found that a social marketing intervention, which included educational materials and in-school promotions, was effective in increasing children's knowledge about healthy eating and improving their dietary habits. Then you can also focus on the limitations of social marketing effectiveness research. Write theories such as the following. Despite the growing body of research on the effectiveness of social marketing, there are some limitations to the existing literature. First, the definition of social marketing and its scope is still not clear and well established. This has led to some confusion and overlap with other fields, such as health promotion and public health communication. You could expand your categories even more in an academic study. Then you would have a conclusion section, and here you can include the following. In conclusion, social marketing has been shown to be effective in promoting behavior change in various domains, including health behavior, environmental sustainability, and road safety. However, there is a need for further research to clarify the definition of social marketing and its scope, to develop more consistent and reliable measures of effectiveness, and to examine the long-term effects of social marketing interventions. Despite these limitations, social marketing remains a valuable tool for promoting behavior change and improving public health outcomes. And always remember to reference your work, cheers.